Before we get today's YouTube video started, I would love to give a big shout out to Baby Tone for sponsoring this portion of today's YouTube video. Baby Tone provides products for parents to feel more at peace while your baby's sleeping. They sent over this baby sleep monitor sock, which is super duper convenient, you guys. I love monitoring Zola while she's sleeping. And if you're a first time mom or parent, then you know how stressful it is. Always trying to make sure your baby is okay and trying to make sure your baby is still breathing. You know, you need that peace of mind while you're sleeping as well. This baby sleep monitor records their sleep quality. It records the baby's average oxygen level, heart rate, and movement. And the fact that you can remotely guard this from your app makes you feel pressure free and more at peace. The sock version of the straps will fit the baby's feet and the device will not slip off easily and the measurement data will be more convenient. They upgraded the material for further consideration for babies. This material is cozy to the touch, soft and skin friendly. This will not make the baby feel bad and not easily allergic as well. The soft material allows the baby's skin to breathe freely. The suitable strap brings each baby a flexible wearing experience. The super cool thing about this as well is that it comes with two different sizes to fit your needs. You will get two sizes of the socks, which will fulfill the size of most babies. There is no longer a need to worry about buying the wrong side. They have one that's a, a size large and a size small. In my case, I use the size large for baby girl. I love this sock because it helps me understand my baby's sleep performance. It also supports my baby in forming good sleep habits by providing cues when she needs me. Literally, this app lets me know and notifies me whenever Zola is not feeling comfortable or if her heart rate or her oxygen levels are not at a good normal level. So make sure you guys check this app out. It's going to be on the app store. I'll also have the link to this product on the screen as well as down below if you guys are interested. What's good, hey babies? Welcome or welcome back to another freaking video. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe to become a part of the A Babies because we're the best, period. And if you're not new, welcome back, ho! Nah, I'm just kidding. You're not a hoe, baby. I love you, my A Baby. Today, obviously, by the title of the video, you already know what's gonna go down. What's gonna happen? What today's YouTube video is gonna be about? And in today's YouTube video, your girl is doing a very much requested, very much needed, realistic, updated nighttime routine with a toddler. Oh my gosh. Last time I did one of these videos, she was literally still considered an infant, and now she's a toddler. <laughs> Don't mind me while I go cry in the back room, but uh. but yeah, you guys, baby girl is growing she's getting so big and beautiful i just i love her so damn much y'all but obviously from the beginning clips i was just you know getting the room together getting her little play section together because of course you know yeah so for our nighttime routine i really like to start with like cleaning up and you know play time honestly i try to like let her play you know as much as she wants throughout the day i don't really try to limit her you know because she's growing she's getting curious you know so i feel like i really shouldn't limit her with certain things that she does you know because you know she's still growing so whenever i see a chance for me to be able to play with her i go ahead and take that chance you know because sometimes she won't want to play with me and she just wants to play independently you know she get into that age she want to do everything by herself she want to brush her hair by herself she want to brush her teeth by herself she want to put her shoes on by herself y'all even she's been even taking her diapers off by herself y'all like i'm literally not lying so for playtime usually she literally plays all day but this specific day i believe i don't know which day of the week it was honestly you guys i'm so sorry because i don't know which day of the week it was um but i'm pretty sure it was one of the days my boyfriend was working but yeah she pulled out one of the books from her little toy basket so i went ahead and read to her she loves nighttime story time she'll even try to read them herself like if i don't read the pages fast enough she's gonna take the book herself and want to read it to herself 
So, yeah, that's what we were doing, you guys. Just having a little play time, you know, mommy, daughter, one-on-one time, you know. I definitely recommend it. She loves it, and I love it, too. I'll be coming back, you know, periodically letting you guys know what we're doing and what's next. So, enjoy! Straight to a penthouse, Miami Beach. Hey, yo. Talk crazy on tweets. <gasps> they don't want it cause I come to defeat. They don't want it. I peep, they need a thousand sweet. We bamboo sticks out on the Jeep. <laughs> it's a new weirdo every week. Weirdo. Get the work, put it up for my seeds. No care for the IG. This no care. Do anything for club. Do anything for club. Do anything for club. Okay, you guys, so usually between, like, 3 to 6 p.m., she's always going to take a nap. So that's usually her nap time frame. She'll either fall asleep by 6 or, if not before 6, then, you know, a little bit later. But I really try my best to get her to take her naps before 6 or really before 7 because... Honestly, she fell asleep to this day at like 6, but then I just started filming again at 6.30, and then I decided to go ahead and cut her fingernails and her toenails because, y'all, oh my god, I know I cannot be the only one. Like, my baby be having razors on her hands. Like, what the hell? And her toes. Them fingernails and, and toenails be so sharp, you guys. Like, OMG, I cannot tell y'all how many cuts and scratches I be having from just her. Like, oh my goodness. But... <laughs> But yeah, I had, uh, she literally put herself to sleep. She's been doing good with that, like, you know, putting herself to sleep. You know, some days she'll want to cuddle and go to sleep like that. But, you know, I don't mind. But if I know I have something to do, then I'll try to get her to put herself to sleep, you know. But if I have time, you know, and I'll just sit there and cuddle with her. But yeah, that's what I was doing. I was just cutting her finger and toenails because, yeah, that was very much needed to do. So you guys, after I cut her fingernails and her toenails, I was like, okay, let me take advantage while she's asleep and go ahead and do mommy time. Because it was still early. It was about 6.40 p.m. So I took advantage, of course. And before you ask, I was watching her through this baby monitor that I've had for a minute. If you guys are interested, it's on my Amazon storefront. But I love this thing. It notifies you when the baby's crying, all that good stuff. And yeah. But you know what's so crazy? Because usually I only get to take showers and wash my hair when it's late at night after her dad comes but today i was so so lucky to have caught her to just take her nap so that i could wash my hair in a complete time frame you know what i'm saying so i went ahead put on my spotify set the mood or whatever how to pick a song though because you know sometimes spotify be tripping but yeah that's what i did and then i got started on washing my hair because i really needed a hair wash y'all i was literally thugging these like gel braids for the past two three weeks so i could wear that red wig i don't know if y'all see me with it on or whatever but yeah so yeah that's what we was doing um i went ahead and washed my hair i will definitely show you guys the products that i use um as i go and yeah so enjoy well don't really enjoy because that's kind of weird because i was in the shower but you know i didn't show too much skin it was really just me showing you my hair but yeah pookie i'll see you later
so next up of course was dinner and i already know what y'all finna say girl why did you shower and wash your hair and do all this first and then cook well honey when you a mom you gotta take a shower and wash your hair when you can okay and the girls that get it get it and the girls that don't don't baby girl but just know that i be having to do things crazily okay it might not make sense to y'all but it makes sense to me okay usually i prefer to take my shower after like i cook and all that but girl i was tired i was not gonna do all that finish shower and wash my hair late ass at night no ma'am no sir and my hair takes forever to dry so yeah on the menu for tonight was uh some yellow rice part it was super yummy uh i made some cubed steak my man loves when i make cube steak that's probably like his favorite meal that i've been making um with asparagus of course you know we gotta get the veggies in we ate dinner and then after dinner it was zola's turn for a bath so i'm kind of happy that i took a shower first because then i wouldn't have to do it after her you know what i'm saying so yeah she took a bath and that was pretty much it we just chilled with her daddy you know getting ready for bed we gave her a bottle and of course her little baby monitor and that was pretty much it you guys so i really 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 hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe as well as follow me all on my social medias they'll be on the screen as well as down below and i will see you guys in my next video